Um, good afternoon, President Dickey, members of the faculty, my fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I'm part of the General Teacher Education Department and I'm honored to represent this program today. My division prepares individuals to work with children from birth through sixth grade. Teaching is a tough field. I will never forget my first observed lesson. It was on nutrition and could have been used as a model for what not to do when teaching. The students were disruptive and the lesson weak. A couple of children were crawling on the floor and half the class was upset that they had not won the nutrition game. As a former nutritionist, this was a familiar topic, but this experience taught me just how challenging teaching could be. I came home feeling despondent. There have been many nights over the last four years when I came home complaining and my husband would tell me, you don't have to do this, you could quit. I appreciated the support. <laughs> I appreciated the support, but I'm glad I didn't quit. I have been extraordinarily lucky. I've been able to pursue several careers during my lifetime. I started out as a nutritionist, took time off to raise my children, and then worked in an architecture firm. Four years ago, I decided to go into teaching, which seemed like the perfect place to combine my experiences, background, and passions. I attended public elementary schools in New York City in the 1960s. We sat at desks in row with one teacher and well over 30 students in each classroom. We learned to read using Dick and Jane, spent hours doing assignments in reading and math workbooks, and much time memorizing facts like the major exports of Ecuador. How I learned to teach at Bank Street was a marked contrast to the way I had been taught. Here, experiential education and thinking outside the box were espoused and valued. Going to Bank Street after having spent so many years out of school provided some challenges. First, I had to remember how to write a paper. Next, I had to learn to give up my weekends so that I could finish those papers. Teaching is predominantly a young field. I walked into Bank Street classrooms where my peers were significantly younger than me. I really enjoyed the camaraderie of my fellow students and appreciated their ideas but also saw that at times my perspective on issue differed from theirs. I distinctly remember sitting in my Foundations of Education class learning about the New York City teacher strike of 1968. I missed school during that strike, which prompted my father to work with me and my classmates so that we wouldn't fall behind. For my Bank Street classmates, the teacher strike was history. For me, it was a part of my past. Even though going back to school and entering a new field provided some challenges, it also had its upsides. As teachers, we bring our background into the classroom. Although a novice as a teacher, my experience as a parent has been invaluable. Parents can be intimidating to teachers, but having spent many years on the other side of the table during parent-teacher conferences, I understand their point of view and they don't rattle me. I understand the angst and stress that parents feel with regard to their children. I understand the pressures of navigating the New York City public and private school systems. I understand the parents' perspective, and I think that parents know that I understand. Having raised my own children has also helped me immensely in the classroom. They have given me great respect for children, shown me how every child is an individual with their own needs, interests, and point of view. And they've also shown me that children are worth it, that the time and patience we invest in them pays off. My experiences in the working world and interests have also influenced my teaching. For example, this year I brought my nutrition knowledge into the classroom by creating a year-long curriculum on food. And because I'm passionate about the visual arts, painting has become a prominent part of my classroom. I have often felt that one of the great things about being a teacher is that we get a do-over. If a lesson, a concept, a curriculum isn't working, isn't reaching all the children in the way that we want, we get to change it, be it the next day, the next week, or the next year. Because we're in a field where we get do-overs, I would often look around with envy at my younger Bank Street classmates. 
for here were individuals who would get many more years to rethink, modify, and perfect their teaching techniques and lessons to become amazing master teachers. We all have memories of amazing teachers. For me, there is my third grade teacher who helped me discover how to use coffee to dye fabric, my fourth grade teacher who let me create and produce a play about New Amsterdam, and my 10th grade teacher who acknowledged my strength in the visual arts, which gave me the confidence to pursue my passion. My father was one of those teachers. He taught elementary school in the New York City public schools for decades. He was the teacher who even after having taught for 30 years in the classroom, still sat at the dining room table every night carefully planning out his lessons. He was the teacher every parent wanted their child to have and the one that remained in the hearts of children. In the 1980s, long retired and walking in his neighborhood, my father ran into a man who recognized him as having been his teacher 40 years earlier. The two chatted and caught up. Before parting, the man told my father, Mr. Beagleson, I had two heroes growing up, the baseball player Mel Ott and you. We are lucky. We get to be these people. We get to inspire. We get to be that special someone who makes a difference in a child's life. We get to be heroes. Bank Street has given us the tools to be extraordinary teachers. It is a gift and I am grateful for that gift. Thank you.